guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing um, another makeup tutorial for you all as you can see as festival season is approaching obviously you've had coachella you've had stagecoach they're the ones in the us that are pretty big ones that we have coming up in the uk so in a few weeks we have park life which i'm going to um with some of my friends and yeah that is my first festival of the year to get in the mood for festival season as it is quickly approaching us i thought today i'd do a quick video on a festival kind of look for you all today uh, so if you want to know how i go ahead and create this look then please carry on okay so as you can see i've already got my eyebrows done however i want to make them more hd standout ish i've already used the abh brow wiz in the color dark brown i am now going to take the abh dip brow also in dark brown and i'm going to take that just on my morphe m158 brush which is just my angled brush and i'm just going to go ahead and start to just go over and darken up like the outer bit of my eyebrows make it a bit lighter in the middle but Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and carve out the eyebrows to kind of set the base using my collection concealer. This is the exciting part because I've not actually shown this palette on camera yet. You all know that I love using the James Charles palette. No doubt I will be using that today. However, the palette that we're going to be using today is the Going Out Out palette from Beauty Bay. If you have seen this look that I did right here, then you will have seen that I used this really nice dark blue shade here for like a nice metallic eye. I'm gonna see what we can make into like a nice festival look for you all and just see how they are. I know that they are buildable products, but they're very, very vibrant. It's Beauty Bay's own palette and you get this huge mirror as well, which is like insane. Hello? It's so good. You've got some like holographic ones at the top, then you go into like your shimmers, then you kind of like your standout colours all the way up to the bottom where you have kind of like, you know, metallic-y coloured ones here, which are like silvers and stuff. And then obviously around all four corners, you do have just four matte shades. So you've got um, this one up here, which is more of like a creamy colour. This is good for setting the base. That's kind of good for transition colours. Then you've got your crease colours and then you've got a matte black as well. It's just a very, very useful palette. All the names are linked to going out. So you have stuff like Nightlife, Glow Stage, Main Stage, Guest List. The brown at the bottom there is called Pre-Drinks and you've got Get Ready at Mine. So it's kind of stuff that you would link to getting ready to go out. So I do think that's a really cool palette. I really like it. I'm just surprised I've not used it as much. Yeah, uh, we're going to go in with this palette today and see what it's about like i said i will also be using the james charles palette so we will be going in with a few colors from there as well so i'm guessing some of them are vibrant colors just at the bottom down here so maybe the yellow um maybe the pinks we'll we'll see what happens with them firstly i'm just gonna take my m456 brush and i'm just gonna take the top shade which is here which is access all areas um and just apply this on top but yeah i'm so glad i found this as well so i was cleaning up my room the other day side note so if you're on instagram and you follow a girl called monster lol so this girl sorry about the 
the ring light. So this girl right here, what she does is she takes um, brat dolls and basically revamps them into nowadays kind of what brat dolls would potentially wear today fashion changes so um what she does is she takes these brat dolls and revamps them the hair their outfits things and it's sick i was looking for them and then i found a whole bunch of other things like bath and body stuff and really cool shit that i forgot i had so i'm first of all gonna take the m441 brush i'm gonna take the color b just on that brush swirl it around a bit and we're just gonna start as kind of like a transition color i'm gonna take 518 just apply that a little bit underneath the yellow that we've just applied okay we're gonna go in for the fun part now so i'm gonna take an m433 brush we're gonna go straight in and take the color skip which is the most vibrant pink on the palette i'm just gonna start packing it on the outer third and dragging it in to the crease So no need to blend that out, it kind of blends out itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the color 518, which is the very vibrant uh, neon orange, and then a little bit of code James, and um, just to make a kind of like burn warm orange just to blend through the pink. Um, so yeah. Then I'm gonna take my M431 brush. I'm gonna take the color ring light and this is kind of gonna act as a base for the highlight that we're gonna apply. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna take my latex free eyelash glue i'm gonna apply this onto the lid where we put the pink and i'm gonna then take my m124 brush and i'm gonna apply the color in stage and apply that onto the lid So you can kind of see it's quite harsh within the crease. Clean the brush, kind of get majority of the glue out of there and also just bring back the brush kind of feel to it. It's gonna go over the pink, just to brighten it up a tiny little bit. Just with the leftover pink, that's on your brush you're just gonna quickly run that through the crease just to blend in the glitter just so it's not as harsh so we're gonna go in and take the maybelline gel eyeliner obviously in black this is the 24 hour gel eyeliner every time i've worn this eyeliner it's absolutely freaking insane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this eyeliner and I'm going to come straight back to you all. Right, we're going to apply some eyelashes now. So you've all seen these before. These ones are the ones I used in my last video, which were the Aladdin eyelashes. Someone in the comments of my last video asked me how long these lashes do last. Now, um, I can say I have worn them at the moment um, three to four times. Tomorrow will be the fifth time I will have worn them. 
I do believe you will get the same kind of wear out of them as you would with say for example tatty lashes or you would with eyelash lashes or any other brand you can think of that are like either drugstore or high end just because these are primark doesn't mean that they're going to be absolutely naff okay so i saw this look well not look but more like a trick um from kaylee mua if you don't know who she is she's a very 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 talented makeup artist in her video with Jamie Genevieve, she gave the tip of, because eyelashes normally stick down better the second time round, the best thing to do is pop glue on the strip of the lash, stick the lash onto your eye, and then it'll leave a line of glue. And then the line of glue on the strip lash, you get tack it and so will the strip that's actually on your eyelid. So then when you stick it down, it sticks down like that. It's a very clever tip and it's very useful especially if you're like starting out with eyelashes and you've never used them before or you rarely wear them what i like to call a pro tip okay also i have been watching well binge watching supergirl recently so if you haven't seen it definitely recommend it there's four seasons on now tv or if you've got sky it's on sky one i'm obsessed they're the only dc things i like because i'm a marvel girl so the only dc things i watch i've only seen one dc film suicide squad that was it watch bits of the flash obviously supergirl and then arrow that i need to start watching so they're all online they're really cool what i kind of like about these eyelashes is that they kind of draw my eyes up a little bit i have such wider eyes if just that bit was brought down a big model wedding we're gonna go in with the face now this is like my favorite and quickest part of any look i'm gonna take fix plus all over the face mm -hmm. Sister. Today we're gonna go in and take a different foundation. So I'm gonna be taking my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour wear foundation in the color 260. Sorry. We're gonna again take the collection concealer. And now we are gonna take contour to the face. What? I'm gonna take the Revolution Conceal and Define in the color C13. You see me use this in like every video. I'm feeling a lot more normal. I'm gonna go in with my Match Perfection Powder from Rimmel on an E48 brush. Just swipe it over. Don't need a lot because the good thing about this concealer is that it dries quickly so it doesn't crease. Time for a little bit of bronzer. So we're going in with the MUA bronzer in the color 100. Again, you all see me use this 
so many times. I'm just gonna take it on an E4 brush. And we're gonna take the Coralista blush, M450 brush. We are now gonna do a bit of highlighter. On my M501 brush, I'm gonna take ring light and face, mix them together. These are my two new favorites. Highlighted yours, and um, we're going to just apply that on the face. Then I'm going to take the smaller version of that, which is the M506 brush. Just take a little bit of the mixture of ring light and face and we're gonna just play it down the center. Then we're just gonna take a tiny little M456 brush and just apply the colours that we have currently. So the oranges and the pinks underneath to make it more vibrant. So taking the Lash Sensational Mascara in waterproof, applying it on both lashes. I think we might go for a vibrant lip colour today. I'm gonna take the Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lip Colour in the colour Scrunchie. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. What I do really like is this liquid lip color. What I can say about these satin uh, liquid lipsticks is one, they don't feel drying on the lips. They feel really nice and it's like one or two strokes, does it? Cause they're so pigmented. The applicator brush makes detailing the lips so easy um it's insane but yeah if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a huge thumbs up um also hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you never miss a post and also comment down below let me know what you think um if you're going to any festivals if you're planning or you want to go to any festivals um if so what are they follow me on all my social medias come and say hi we can have a chat um, I'm still working on getting Twitter back, but hopefully we'll get that back soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it because this is quite cool. But no doubt I won't be taking it off now. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye!